The most sets in the history of the show. The most momentum out of any character ever in the history of the show. Selling out everywhere. Opening for all the greats, doing his own thing. The Memphis Strangler, the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. He actually did try that earlier, bro. Holy shit. What the fuck, man? What the fuck did you just say to me, man? A lot of mustard and mayonnaise on my sandwiches. Bud Light is going to have a trans lady on their cans, which is great because it's really going to open up sponsorship opportunities for all of us. I actually got a call from a feminine hygiene company earlier today, and they're saying they want my image on all of their dental dams moving forward. But seriously, Bud Light is going to have a trans person on their cans because they are tired of selling beer. Not to be outdone, Tinder has a new spokesperson, Ted Bundy. <laughs> Trump is getting arrested. I mean, he got fingerprinted, mug shots, and they even gave him an anal cavity search where they weirdly enough found confirmation that Aphex Twin will be performing at the upcoming coronation of King Charles III. Liberal parents be like, my son better not be attracted to women. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> that's all I've got. Wow, I loved that. Incredible. A minute, 20 seconds, no bear to be found. He wants no business going up against William. An incredible performance. Literally two or three of my favorite jokes of the entire night. Bud Light trans spokesperson because they're tired of selling beer <laughs> is just unbelievable to me. Short, sweet, whatever you said in the middle there, cut that shit, get right to Who's that. La who was laughing right there? Is that you, Ari? Yeah, it was so I couldn't funny, tell. Funny. <laughs> they, yeah. they won't sell like three yeah. more beers. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> 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 He is crying. He's genuinely crying. It's a great joke. <laughs> Either he loves that joke or he just got threatened by the German guy that's uh, waiting for him in the alleyway. Remember when Bud Lights were calling them Americas? You could order an America at a bar? They renamed Budweiser America. Remember that? Yeah, like damn four right. Four or five years ago? Yeah, you had like, hey, one cold America, please. And that didn't catch on. So now they're going to trans. So they're going the other way. Yeah. They are. Yeah. That's Trans can, That's says Matt cans. Mewling. He only speaks, fun fact, Matt Mewling speaks once every four months. <laughs> every <laughs> There's four episodes a month, so that's about one every 16 episodes. And he decided right now to take a stand and say the word, it's a trans cans, everybody. <laughs> How about a hand for the great Matt Mewling, everybody? Letting it rip. Letting it rip. It is a trans can. Wait, that's Wait, not which, a real by thing, the way, right? Which, by the way, when you no, pull the tab, everything tucks back at the top. So <laughs> it kind of makes sense. It, I guess all cans have been trans the whole time. It's like a Pez dispenser. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I love about you is when you were reading your notes off the thing, I know because you read it, it said on that paper, but seriously. <laughs> which really just made me laugh yeah. for some reason. He goes... But seriously, <laughs> it's such a funny thing to have in a speech. Yeah, I have a uh, disability, so <laughs> it's weird you bring that up, Sorry. motherfucker. Seriously. I wasn't trying to shame you. I wouldn't. They kicked me out of school in the fifth grade. Why? Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, that's, a, that's a late April Fool's joke. <laughs> that's what happens if you miss April Fool's Day. <laughs> you slept right through it. Got to bring him out on the second. Yeah, I actually had an inversion yesterday. I went to uh, San Antonio, the Six Flags down there, and it happens, I think, to like 25 to 30% of people. It's when you're on a roller coaster and when you're upside down. Something happened to my penis, and it literally <laughs> inverted back into my tummy. So it happens to like 25% of people, but... Wow. <laughs> it comes One out of four people. 
Does it eventually come back out? Or do you have to like do exercises? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, seriously, your voice sounded like such a little bitch, dude. <laughs> It's hard to fucking understand your ass on toss. Oh shit. He's powering up. We've seen this before, folks. When he gets passionate about something. Yeah, I mean, I have a fucking inversion right now, dude. My thing literally is inside of me. Wow. Is there a solution? Have you tried blowing on your thumb really hard? <laughs> yeah, I actually did try that earlier, dumbass. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> the fuck, man? He has blown on it for like 30 minutes earlier, dude. I thought it would pop out, but it didn't. Wow. Wow. Incredible to have. Have you tried blowing into your butt? Would you want to later? Yeah, I'll do it for you. Okay. Yeah. But no, I haven't tried blowing into my butt. I think it'd be hard for me to do that. Yeah, Ari, nice suggestion, idiot. All right. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck is going on? You were being so sweet crying about the thing earlier, and then you're asking if I can blow into my fucking butt? What does it look like? How would I do that right now? I kind of meant if someone else would blow into your butt. That's what I meant. Well, that's not what you fucking said. No, that's true. That's not what I said. <laughs> well, be clear, dude. Yeah. yeah, I mean, seriously. We're trying to have fun tonight. Uh, I'm just trying to help your inversion. And word of the wise, don't go to the Chupacabra Cantina. I literally fell through a fucking five foot in diameter hole over at that piece of shit. I swear to God, I'm gonna find the owner and I'm gonna trap them in something. What? Yeah, I literally it was like a 10 foot fucking fall. I was at the Chupacabra Cantina the other night, right across the street, and I fell through this fucking like five foot diameter hole. I swear to God, what? I'm gonna figure out where the guy lives and I'm gonna trap his fucking ass in something. You're gonna trap, how long were you trapped for? Shit, I was in there for two days. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? You were eye for an eye, you're gonna trap him now for several days. Yep. Yeah. Then you got his gold. And then what? No, I really didn't hear you, I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> this is something William notoriously loves slightly <laughs> fucking Jesus, with the dude. guests every once in a while. <laughs> Chill it out, William. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm oh on edge God. right now. I have a fucking inversion right now. We gotta get it out, buddy. What is your plan of action for getting it out? I think we're gonna go to the clinic, the Planned Parenthood tomorrow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's a good one in Austin. I already... Yeah, I'm going to Planned Parenthood tomorrow. Wow. We thought about maybe hitting Six Flags, taking the roller coaster backwards. It uh, doesn't work that way. I okay. did do that. Okay. I'm not I a did. science guy. Yeah, I did that several times you yesterday. You tried it. You tried it. I tried it. it right. It didn't what work. else did you do at Six Flags? Give us some of the things you love about Six Flags. Shit. I had a bunch of fruit by the foot in my <laughs> jacket pocket. Oh, uh, shit. That's pretty cool. Has some Cheerios what? in my jacket pocket. What? Has six flags. Man, my thing got inverted, y'all. <laughs> I have a serious inversion right now. I literally... <laughs> William, if you find out how to get the dick uninverted, I got a guy with a chest problem outside who can need yeah. to talk to that doctor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that guy. That was scary. <laughs> yep. Where's his heart? That's what I was thinking yeah, the whole time. Where's question. this guy's I can actually heart? Tell you. It's a good question. Where was his I'll heart? I'll tell you what his chest taught me is that everyone's heart is not where I thought it was. Huh. <laughs> I was just wrong about where your heart is. <laughs> so, William, what else are you passionate about this week? Shit. Final four? four? No, four square. Okay. Yeah, I've yeah, been playing a bunch of four square. What do you mean final four? The final four, the NCAA basketball tournament. It's pretty big in America. My team's out of it. Oh, well, who's your team? Yeshiva Mar University? <laughs> no, Marquette. No. Oh. No, I'm kidding. Happy late April Fool's Day. I hate Marquette. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't stand Marquette. Oh, shit. <laughs> My shit's inverted tonight. Oh, shit. And I swear to God, I'm going to find the owner of the Chupacabra Cantina. <laughs> fucking hide up in his tree, do a fucking rope down. I will trap his fucking ass. The owner of the Chupacabra Cantina. Is he in here right now? Is the owner of the Chupacabra Cantina. Oh, this guy says he's the owner of the Chupacabra Cantina. No, he wouldn't have the balls. <laughs> Who yeah, not a little pussy like that. Holy shit. Yeah. Looks like your ass is inverted, man. 
Show us. I mean, is it inverted? Can you? All right, William. I'm kidding. So uh, everything is going good. Anything else you want to talk about before we go? I started swimming again a little bit, and I bought this Speedo on eBay. I love buying stuff on eBay, and I, f I found there's this whole subculture of people. I bought this, and it ended up costing me $2,000, the Speedo. It was on this real hunky-looking guy, but the Speedo is really cool. That's the main reason I got it. But, yeah, there's this whole subculture of people selling these used Speedos on eBay, if anybody needed to know that. Yeah, it's a really thriving subculture on eBay. It's $2,000 fucking dollars, though, so... Do you wear it a lot? Oh, yeah. Do you ever take it off? No. <laughs> and I'm never going to take that Speedo off! Apex, Apex Twin is literally playing at the Coronation. What are you going to wear? Shit, I'm going to wear the Speedo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, William. Uh, <laughs> how loud can this place get for the great William Montgomery, everybody? One, two, three, four. A Mississippi woman was caught having sex with a dog. Why is that news? That's not my America, Texas. <laughs> the Dalai Lama apologized for asking an eight-year-old boy to suck his tongue, which is so weird because that means technically Red Band's mom owes me an apology. <laughs> But seriously, in response, the Catholic Church asked if you could forward me his resume. <laughs> okay. I was just in Cleveland, and I'm a little confused. They changed their name from the Cleveland Indians to the Cleveland Engines? <laughs> so I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. The bad news is scientists are saying weight loss during middle age may increase your risk of death. The good news is Red Band's life expectancy is another 70 years. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's all I'm doing. William Lights Out Montgomery. The golden boy. The gel blaster. The one and only. William looks like if everything went right for Milky. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Don't I fuck me, boy. Uh, it's nice to see you, Sam. You now, too, buddy. Now, an interesting fun fact about Sam and William is they worked together for years in Denver, Colorado. Oh, as, yeah. as up and coming uh, fucking beasts of comedians. I was already up. <laughs> he was coming. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. He was and coming on the train, I remember. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I was thinking to myself, when <laughs> William came up here, how hard you would have laughed at William coming out if you didn't know what he looked like compared oh, to all the no. other people no. because he's another one of these interesting looking characters. This is actually like him at peak performance yeah. right now. Absolutely. Yeah, you mean that in a sweet way, don't you, Tony? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, you're fucking adorable. It's okay. You're my favorite fucking Confederate general we've ever had on the show. <laughs> you got the knees out tonight, which famously have the faces of ghosts yeah, inside of them. Yeah, can you all see them. the faces tonight? You guys see the faces? Whoa. Oh, you can flex your knees. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Yeah, take a look at that, motherfucker. <laughs> Haunted knees, the rare treat that only William has. That's become a new thing I do, Sam, on stage. I just I run out of material, and I just start doing this. Yeah. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> so seven minutes into your 20, you do the knee thing? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've run out of material, but... <laughs> <laughs> Montgomery. William used to fucking come to the Squire Lounge, which I hosted, <laughs> and he would show up with no money and a backpack full of fucking whatever beers he found. Yep. yep. Oh, my God, I'm so proud of you, <laughs> William. It's no true. one saw this coming. <laughs> I remember it. <laughs> It scared me. I remember literally the first night I went to the comedy store to sign up for Kill Tony, I had a 12-pack of PBRs in my backpack, and the door guy 
It's like, let me look in your backpack, and then I just pretended like I got a phone call and hit him in a bus. Yeah. But I was that close probably yeah. to getting kicked out of the comedy store yeah. before I even got in there. And the door guy didn't believe you because they're like, we don't get Obama phone reception in here. <laughs> it is true. Back when William drank, everywhere was a BYOB tavern yeah. uh, that he went to. He and I actually would fill Mountain Dew bottles with liquor oh, and whatnot. Yeah. And I'm loving Hans being on cocaine because I'm back doing cocaine. I was literally just doing a couple lines up oh, there. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't give a shit no more. Oh. Y'all know I be on cocaine tonight. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't done it in so long. I vomited everywhere, right, when I did my first line. There's vomit all in the fucking green room, Tony. I'm sorry. It's everywhere. Incredible. So... We all know that you went through a recovery process to get <laughs> yeah. off of alcohol and cocaine. Now yeah. that you've started cocaine, what's your plan? Are you going to give it up soon? Or? No, I think I'm going to keep doing it because I think I remembered why I liked it so much. <laughs> it just makes me real talkative, and it's allowed me to drink a little. I've had a couple Bud Lights actually tonight, so oh. I'm going to be partying tonight. Oh, shit. And Sam and I, I think, are we going to go try to get some people out in the alleyways after this? Sam and I actually killed, what was it, four or five people in Denver? Seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Well, two of them were trans, so yeah, people. Two were, you know, right, yeah. right. <laughs> okay, yeah, seven. Yeah, we would stand outside of this bank and just fucking uh, bank people in the head with our bags. Oh, my God. We were so young then. I know. <laughs> we look great, though. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> So Hans, yeah. fucking William used to c crash at my house because I think you were homeless. I was for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he'd crash and we would fucking read this book and we would just read the last paragraph of oh, Blood yeah, Meridian Blood to each Meridian. other. Blood Meridian. Yeah, I didn't notice the hat. Yeah, I would get all fucked up and read the last paragraph of Blood Meridian. And Sam, you might also like this. In my darkest days out in uh, California, I would watch Martin Luther King speeches and just start sobbing in the bed. And I was like, William, something's got to change. <laughs> I love Martin Luther King, but it was nightmarish. It's wow. got to be weird, though, because uh. your uncle was the one who shot him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. James Earl Ray literally is a great uncle of mine. Yeah. It's, wow. it's not good that you know his name. <laughs> <laughs> You're also from Memphis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, all, Germantown. This all checks out. William, how long? I'm from Memphis. Sh no, you're not. I'm from East Memphis. Uh -huh. Why would you even try to say I'm from oh, fucking Germantown? Oh, so you're from Arkansas? No, I'm not from what? I'm from East Memphis. Sam, you know this, man. We've been having a good interaction up here, and then you try to fucking throw me under the bus. These people, I'm going to lose street credibility with these people if they think I'm from fucking Germantown. Who's with all those fucking pussies in Germantown? <laughs> We've been having a good interaction? What, you got a fucking toad in your pocket? <laughs> no, I'm high on cocaine right now, literally. I'm, so so no, I, I'm I love this. How long were you in Denver for, William? For three years. Three years. I'm loving this information that we're getting out Dude. of Sam about William. Tell us more, because William is the fucking Hulk Hogan of this show. I mean, a absolute superstar. Yep. We don't really get to find out anything real about his life. He tells us a bunch of fucking lies every night that he's up here. <laughs> Who, William? Yeah. No. Yeah, he has a very specific... Yeah, I never liked raisin bread. I'm, I think I've said that before. I fucking hate that shit. Y'all really think I like lemon lime starboard? <laughs> I hate those fucking things. You know, you know that joke about uh, the whistling album. You guys know the whistling album. <laughs> I was there the night that he uh, first performed that at the Squire Lounge. It was cool to hear you. Night. Yeah, he won the bar tab. I won the bar tab. And then tab. it was great to hear you uh, do it here as a new minute eight years later. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, stop. <laughs> that, was, that was fun to see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Seriously, stop. <laughs> I don't think he's ever he's gonna kidding. stop. <laughs> stop, <laughs> Sam. I'm never gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we've met William's match here tonight. That's one of the things you say instead of having an act, right? Correct. <laughs> 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 Y'all are really gonna both fucking clap at that right in front of me, you pieces of shit? <laughs> Fuck y'all. Somebody get them out of here. I'm not gonna keep on going up here with these pieces of shit. 
I remember the first time he said that too. It was nine years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Very funny, Sam. Uh, we you are, know, can I, I'll be sincere right now. I saw William in Denver and I said, bro, you're so fucking funny. And we became very fast friends. And I said, you got to get the fuck out of Denver, move to LA. And now look at you, man. Absolutely so. unbelievable. So true. An absolute fucking rock star. He's back on cocaine. Yeah. What are you going to do with this cocaine pro thing? Are you going to fucking try to clear it up or are you going to fuck it? Yeah, no, I think I'm going to go back to my place after this and bake a bowl of Cheerios and pour a little honey on top. Whoa. Do y'all ever do that? It's so good. It's very good. You do that a lot? Yeah, I've been doing that all the time pretty much. <laughs> you... I get Cheerios and then I put honey on top. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I shouldn't even brought that up. I don't know why I brought that up. How often do you do that? Pretty much every night. <laughs> why are you laughing, Sam? <laughs> Uh, I just remember you when you were all fucked up in LA during quarantine and you'd call me from the fucking porch of your girlfriend's grandpa's yep. house. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I would make phone calls. Definitely. <laughs> this I definitely checks out. Yeah. All of us, yeah. all of us, well, I guess we weren't in Austin yet or else you guys would have had a lot of phone calls. Yeah. All of us would take hour long phone calls with William that uh -huh. you could not get him off the phone. He was coked up to the gills drinking cheap beer, yeah. nothing made any sense. It was bad. I was horribly depressed. Yeah. I was in a horrible And you depression. could feel his depression yeah. beaming through the phone, so you didn't want to be the one to be like, all right, I got to go, because you felt like <laughs> yeah. he was going to kill yeah. himself immediately yeah. after yeah. you hung up the phone. So we all would take these long phone yeah. calls with William. Now so he's happy as shit, absolutely thriving, making like $40,000 a month on Cameo or something no, like that. No, it's a decent amount. Yeah, thank you, everybody, for yeah. your Cameo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did his girlfriend tell you how much he's making? Because she told me as well. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah. He's doing okay. Yeah, It's been he is. fun. <laughs> it's, been, it's all positive. It's positive. Yeah, it's positive. It's generally positive. <laughs> yeah. You going to keep doing the Cameo? You ever going to... I think I'm never going to stop doing the Cameo because I literally... Bought a $5 million fucking house, so I gotta keep doing the cameo. Wow. A $5 million house. Yeah, the banker told me not to do it, but I don't give a shit anymore. Oh, shit. William, do you, do you, <laughs> do you remember when your brother, like, died for four minutes? Yeah, Tennessee, yeah. yeah. He got QB sneaked, and I was like, Selden, what does QB sneaking mean? He said, when somebody gives you a Xanax bar when they put it in your beer, and yeah, he died at the University of Tennessee. Yeah, but then they brought Luckily, him back. Luckily, they brought him back to life. <laughs> yeah. so it was... And the next day, you showed me a picture of him in line at a Moe's burrito, right? In his hospital scrubs. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Sweet is... Selden Montgomery, my brother. <sighs> this is incredible. This might be, uh, you know, William has been on the, every single episode of this show for five years, and I think we found out more about him at, in this last 12 minutes than we did in the five years before yeah. that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, how loud can this place get for William Montgomery? Three, nice four. Okay, shut it down. The other day, they added another letter to LGBTQ and then added a mathematical sign. I'm sorry, are we talking about sexual orientations or my Wi-Fi password? <laughs> I was driving yesterday and noticed a flag at half-mast, so I did a little research to see what had happened, and oh boy, did y'all realize Steve Irwin was dead? <laughs> Y'all know I be missing Crocodile Dundee! <laughs> so I'm coming out with a new television show. It's pretty much just like Shark Tank, but the sharks are actual sharks and the tank is filled with water. Soon Narcan will be available over the counter, and I just have to say, I can't wait to overdose on that shit. <laughs> All righty, that's my time. Wow, how powerful. Coming out to a standing ovation. 
an extremely electric response from the audience who knows you, who loves you so much so that you had to tell them to shut it down <laughs> so that you could start your set. Absolutely incredible. Jokes the whole way through that only William could write and read off of a note card. Absolutely incredible performance. The electricity is flowing. He's eyeballing the audience. We've seen this before, folks. We've seen him. He is in his element. This is him in the zone. This is his house. He closes every episode. This is the spot that we are in right now. Oh, he just snapped yeah, out of it. Yeah, I snapped out of it. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> wow. I mean, you were in it there for a second. How do you feel, William? An unbelievable set. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing, for the first time tomorrow night, two shows in Nashville, a rare longer set. So, Tony, I have uh, been super on edge this whole past week, and the only thing getting me through it, honestly, I mean, my stress level has been through the loo... The f th through the loo... <laughs> it's been through the loo... Through the loo... The, the loo... The Tony, it's can a, I... It's in, a little, it's in a little city called Paris, France. <laughs> But Tony, there's only been one thing getting me through. Can I play you a song? I have I wrote a song that's really just helped me get through this past week, the anticipation I, we, leading up till tomorrow. I mean, amazing. For a guy that has done more sets on this show, brought to you by the Red Rose and the Yellow Rose and Gel Blaster, than anybody else. Be careful at the fucking Yellow Rose. I almost got stabbed there the other night. Oh, wow. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> You are a wild boy. Now, we have seen more sets out of you than any other human in the history of the show, and somehow you come out guns a-blazing every week. This is special. You've literally never played music for us before. This is unbelievable what's happening. Are you going to sing as well, or do you just play the keyboard? Well, no, Tony, again, I am just so horribly on edge about the coming shows tomorrow night, and the only thing... Two sold-out shows in his hometown of Nashville at the one of truly the best comedy clubs in the world. It should be... Hold on. All right. Playing. They can't hear the song. You, you, don't, you don't want them to play along with you? No, I've spent a lot of fucking time on this song. You can't hear it when y'all are playing. Okay. actually not bad at all. <laughs> oh Let's take it back to the 18th century, folks.
He's headlining, so he's doing this. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you have to do when you only have 25 minutes of material and you have to do an hour-long set in Nashville tomorrow night. Yeah, it's going to be a whole lot of this. Fuck you, Nashville! <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, Adam, can you do one of those movie things for me? Please. Oh, that was so I, funny. I thought you'd never wow. ask. Wow, everybody wants a keynote. Can we get some of that cinematic lighting you had earlier? Let's see how it goes. By the way, William fucking murdered all weekend with Harlan Williams. This guy's going to be a, a future <laughs> legend. That was fun. Future legend right here. I'm so fun watching you, man. You guys. He's Here great on Bill Tony, you. you've literally gotten to watch a fucking absolute sloppy mess turn into a fucking cold-blooded assassin. Okay, what do you want to do? What do you want the, do you want me to just No, to... I'm still a sloppy mess. I'm back on Viagra. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Can we dim the lights on William again? Wait. Get a little spotlight action You're, going? What are you back on? I'm back on Viagra, dude. I have a penis thing. This summer... This summer, one man was looking to fix his penis thing. Y'all know I need help with my thing. <laughs> he needed help with his thing, and help was on the way. There's something really wrong down there with my thing. Nobody could quite identify what was wrong with his thing, but he was determined to solve the mystery. Yeah, I mean, it's getting to be a real problem. There's warts, there's... <laughs> TMI. His doc... Not... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm optimistic now that I'm back on Viagra. The glass was half full because Viagra had saved the day and hopefully his relationship. But who knows? Laura Dern stars as William Montgomery in... <laughs> My thing. My friend. <laughs> wow. Wow. I've been literally crying for like eight minutes up here. This is in, an incredible performance tonight, William. And I love Laura Dern. It's so fun you said Laura Dern. I loved her ass in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Was she in Jurassic Park? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a well-rounded, <laughs> unbelievable performance by the Big Red Machine himself. Is this keyboard thing something that you're thinking about doing more often? Well, it's something I did, I don't know, 15 years ago probably, and then my old one broke, so I actually got this one on eBay, and then I was worried it wasn't going to come in by, uh, by today pretty much since I'm leaving tomorrow, so I bought another one on eBay. So when I got back to my apartment earlier, I had two of these things <laughs> on my door. And they're each fucking $700 a piece. I mean, this is a collector's. No, I'm kidding. But this one has a jingle inside. But yeah, I have two of these fucking things now. Wow. So now I have three of these. So it's, so it's going to be a thing. I'm going to start maybe exclusively using that. So wow. we'll see. That is very exciting. I'm sure a lot of the fans out there, oh, oh they're already covering your song. Oh, Deez is on his It's phone. already I not as not. good. Y'all don't even need to try. You, do you know how to play the song that he played? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> hey, what? It was more than that. <laughs> I can't even try. Come on, it's... William. William, you... William, you think they're ever you think they're ever gonna stop? Uh, I don't think they're ever gonna stop because they're not as good at it. <laughs> Who's better than you? Man, nobody's better than me, especially now that I'm on Viagra. <laughs> How much do you love Viagra? I actually hate it. It's a really oh, it's right. a struggle in my life. I have a really big problem with it, so it's my blood pressure really high. His blood pressure was out of control. <laughs> But I love Viagra, so... But he was addicted to the game. <laughs> Stuck in my head. 
How about one more time for one of the by far legends of Kill Tony, William Montgomery. Cross Tony, first of all, standing back there, why are you talking about your mama like that, man? <laughs> Biden had a press conference to announce he's running for re-election. When asked at the press conference about the threat from China, Biden responded, I like strawberry ice cream better than vanilla. <laughs> SpaceX launched the largest rocket in history yesterday and it exploded two minutes into the flight with the explosion being described as a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. Weirdly enough, back when I was drinking, I too had a rapid, unscheduled disassembly when I ran into a fucking group of people at a school. <laughs> Have you ever watched Forensic Files and halfway through think to yourself, wait, why do the people, are, why are they talking like that? Have we been in Australia this whole time? <laughs> I'm disappointed that nothing is being done to address the problem of women saying they identify as men and then dominating men's spo sport. God damn it! I'm sorry, I'm on a bunch of spice right now! I'm disappointed that nothing is being done to address the problem of women saying they identify as men and then dominating men's sports. Oh, right, that ain't ever gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's my time. Wow. Holy smokes. The Big Red Machine, the Memphis Strangler, the Vanilla Gorilla, the man, the myth, the legend, the synthesizer, swinger. Tony, I'm honestly, I am nervous up here right now. I don't think I've ever met your sweet mama. I think you did. It was back in your drinking days. and uh, But I think... Oh, yeah, I remember Red Band was there. It got real hot up in that fucking hotel room. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. How dare you? No. How dare you? <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. I might cut you up. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? My mom's talking about witchcraft. Tony, do something about your mom, man. Wait, what? Do something about your mom. What did she just say? <laughs> she just roasted you, dude. You just got roasted some weird horoscope joke or something like that. I don't know. No, 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 I don't remember. You're killing it, Mom. You're, you're doing great. Uh, so, William, how did this week go for you? An incredible set. What was the Forensic Files joke supposed to be? What happened? So I was watching Forensic Files the other night, uh, laying in a hotel bed, and halfway through, I'm paying more attention, and I'm like, why are they talking like that? What is that accent? And I was like... Oh, they must be in Australia. This is an Australian forensic files, and I just. Why did it sound Australian? Because they were in Australia. They were in Australia. Oh, the. Case. And I just assumed they were in America, like they normally always are when I'm watching forensic files. But oh. this was a rare Australian so, episode. So for that joke to work, we literally need to be sitting with you watching the episode. <laughs> Yeah, it was so funny when I thought of it to myself the other night. I was like, I have to just say this because I thought it was so funny. I was laughing to myself. I was yeah. like, you dumb it. How did you not realize they're in Australia this whole time? There's beaches, there's sharks. Yeah. <laughs> Ian, it's nice to see you. Why couldn't I be on your podcast? My, I want you to be on the podcast. My producers made a mistake. They, they fucking booked it, and I went around them. Because I was horrified. I was thinking it was just Moon Tower people, because no. Moon Tower people and I, they found out I was the person sending their offices. I was sending them these very cryptic ciphers. Um, <laughs> they know I'm fucking after them, I think, so I was pretty fucking sure that's why I wasn't allowed on your podcast, and yeah, if you work up in those offices, you're gonna keep on getting the ciphers. Because I know for a fact you didn't want me on fucking Ian's podcast. You pieces of shit, I'm not stupid. 
What do the ciphers say? If, you, if we were to decode them, what are yeah, the things what they that, say? It's like word searches. Like you can circle like <laughs> hot dog or violin. But if you do the, the letters in the word searches, that's what I'm calling the ciphers. You have to, you can figure out stuff just in, the, in those words. <laughs> okay. What else has been going on? You sold out Phoenix, Arizona this week, a 700-seat comedy club, the great yeah. stand-up live. It was fun with David oh, and his sick. opener and somebody else. It was exciting to be the only white guy in the whole crew of the comedy show. Right, right. It what was f- fun. It was a lot of fun. What David was going roasted on in the people. green room? Being the only white guy in a green room, uh, what was that like? What was going on? I was smoking a bunch of weed, and at one point, David had said, okay, come back out there after my set, and we'll roast people together, and I felt really good about my set, and then I get real high, and I think, wait, David's specialty is roasting. What the fuck? Is he setting me up for a trap right now? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? is going on right here so that I was horrified about going up there but I was texting him and he was looking at his phone so I was able to communicate and I didn't have to go out there so oh. things were pretty good hell yeah all right so you just didn't do it <laughs> correct <laughs> <laughs> what a chicken luckily david loves working with chicken so uh <laughs> He does. That was a funny Django Unchained joke he did about your accent. That was a funny accent you did. All right, yeah, that was 45 minutes ago, William. Thank you for reminding us of funny stuff that happened earlier in the show and podcasts that you haven't been on while being on a podcast, talking about not doing some other podcast. That's uh, a lot of podcast talk. <laughs> Hold on, I get fused, don't he? That's a bunch of podcast talk. You love doing podcasts? Yeah, I mean, I've been loving it. I just shouldn't have smoked all this fucking spice tonight. But, Tony, I actually started playing the board game Mousetrap, and I happened to lose. I lost one of the pieces. It's like the the net piece. I've lost that, so I tried to set a Mousetrap, and then I can't do it. (laughs) Then I can't play Mousetrap no more. Oh, shit. And I swear to God, I'm going to keep on sending the ciphers to the office. I knew for a fact, when you said, oh, you're off the podcast, I thought, oh, it's the fucking people up in those Moon Tower offices. They don't want me around. I wonder why. <laughs> William, I think you, William, I... What the fuck did you just say to me, man? I can't play a this week, man. Try to watch my Wednesday files, man. I get dizzy up here, man. <laughs> Are you ever gonna stop s- sending? Oh, now I gotta stop sending cipher. No, I swear to God, I'm never gonna fucking. No synthesizer tonight, huh? No, I think I might bring it back next week. It helped me in Nashville and Phoenix. I did probably 20 minutes of synthesizers for my 30-minute <laughs> long sets. So it's making me feel like I can get really close to, uh, to really headlining. If I'm doing like 25 minutes of the synthesizer, I think I'm finally going to be able to do it, Tony. Hell yeah. Absolutely. I'm excited. Absolutely. Synthesizing, ciphering, you've got it all going on. Ooh. <laughs> <coughs> you keep looking at Ian in a very interesting way. Yes, because I was so horrified when I got the message that now I'm not on the pot... That's all I've been thinking about, man. <laughs> Sit on my lap. I want to apologize. <laughs> Let's go find your mousetrap. <laughs> you want to find your mousetrap? Yeah, I want to find my mousetrap. Would that bring you a lot of joy if we found your mousetrap? Yeah, if we you. find my mousetrap, I'm going to be so excited. How, how excited would you be if we found the net, the missing piece of your mousetrap? I'd finally be able to play mousetrap again. <laughs> I finally be able to play again. I'm sweating. And you love Mousetrap. And I love it. <laughs> How much do you love it? Man, you know I love Mousetrap. <laughs> You're running out of energy, aren't you? You're like a little sleepy baby right now. Yeah, I'm really tired, You're Tony. All, a little tuckered out, huh? I'm really tired right now, Tony. You and are. your mom's here, and she's been making me nervous this whole time. We're really... We're, uh... 
Why is I my mom know. making me nervous? I didn't remember meeting you before. I didn't meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think we met. No, I didn't meet you. I you wouldn't forget. Yeah, she wouldn't forget. She <laughs> steal trap memory. Anyhow, I took your mouse trap piece. I'll get it back to oh. you. Oh, oh! It was her. <laughs> Wait. What a twist. What a twist. Joy got here today and took the time to sneak into your place and steal the net from your mousetrap board game. I heard somebody fucking up in the apartment earlier today. Was that really your ass fucking up there stealing my shit? It was. Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, we're might, yeah, we might have a problem after the show. I'm going to... What would you be willing to do to get your mousetrap net back? Yeah, talk slowly. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe you could come back over to the apartment later. I mean, I think not. <laughs> oh, you just got rejected, homie. <sighs> that was like your forensic files joke earlier. That fucking it was. Yeah, it was so funny when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, I, Ian, and I both rejected you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, what just oh, happened? Yeah. yeah, I thought that's what was going on, Ian. <laughs> What happened? What's going on? What I feel like say? we're in Australia right now. Yeah. I don't know what's <laughs> going on. <laughs> William Montgomery, right. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt is in of Joy Hinchcliffe and Ian. Bye.